Now tell us about Lily. Well, here's Lily. Let me see if I can get her up. We tried real hard to fit. There she is. This is Lily. She is my eighth adoption, my fifth bulldog. I love you. Um, she was on the streets of New Haven, not spayed, overbred. She had worms, ear infections, teeth infections, underweight, petrified. Now look at her. Uh, we had to go through quite rigorous um, uh, sessions with the vet to get rid of the worms. Um, she is now at a really good weight. She certainly spayed. She is living a life that she deserves. I love having her here. Um, you know, a bulldog may not be for everybody. You know, summer months are tough for them. They have to be in air conditioning. Uh, but she's my fifth bulldog, so I know the breed. That's the other thing, you know, know the breed. Do your homework. Don't just say, oh, I love the way that dog looks. Make sure that you understand the breed, that you are able to care for them. Um, she cares for me. I, this is therapeutic for me. I just love coming home to her. There's nothing like a bulldog smell. Hi. <laughs> now, how can seniors volunteer? Um, we certainly encourage um, all, all kinds of people to volunteer. Um, we do have an application process. Um, we ask that you are, you know, your mobility is good. Um, you may not be able to handle the dogs. Um, you may be able to handle some of the dogs. We rate them according to difficulty. Um, and it's not an aggression difficulty, it's just manageability. You could have a big dog that's very docile. You could have a chihuahua that is out of control. So it all depends on, you know, the manageability of the animal. You know, we recommend that maybe um, a senior begin with the cats. They're a little, well, they're a lot less um, physically challenging. We have a really wonderful cat room and the cats are in their individual cages. Um, and, you know, you can go in there and socialize with them. Um, you know, we do ask that maybe you, you can handle a computer because our application is online. Um, and, you know, we do ask that you go through the application process. We do interview you. Um, and it's more for the safety of the animal. Um, you know, we understand people love to be with animals, but um, we're an inner city shelter. And a lot of these animals come in really traumatized. Um, and so we need to make sure that, um, you know, the, the prospective volunteer um, can handle it. The dogs can get very noisy, they're very strong. They can be very agitated. Once you get them out, they're wonderful because who wants to be in a cage? Nobody. Although our facilities are, are really quite quite safe and quite nice for the animals. Um, so it's very physical. I mean, I'm approaching 70 and there are times where I say, okay, this is really, um, it's tough for me. So I have to sort of gauge, you know, my energy level for that day um, and maybe handle a less um, challenging dog. Um, so we welcome all volunteers, but just keep in mind, you know, some people think, oh, it's I'm going to play with puppies and get a t-shirt. That's not it. It's really roll up your sleeves and be involved and make the commitment. Uh, you know, don't just come for a month or two and disappear. You know, we really need people who are committed that can do this long term, you know, if that's possible. 